unidentified drone killed a Russian police lieutenant colonel while he was mowing grass on his lawn on his day off in the village of Shetinovka, Belgorod Oblast. This is reported by local news. He died as a result of an explosion from munitions dropped by said unidentified drone. He was the deputy head of one of the departments of the regional main department of economic security and anti-corruption. This stunning video shows why drones are and will remain critical to every aspect of the war. A Ukrainian and a Russian infantry unit meet near Bakhmut. The problem? Neither of them know anything about it. Although there are only a few meters between the groups, they almost cross without spotting each other. The reason for this is the vegetation. After 30 seconds and the two groups are now moving away from each other, one of the Ukrainian soldiers finally gets the radio message from the drone operator that Russian soldiers are right next to them. What follows is routine again. In the forest west of Krimina, Luhansk Oblast, Ukrainian forces from the 100th TDF Brigade hit a Russian T-72B3 with an FPV loitering munition, causing an internal cook-off. Fierce trench battles and heavy shelling seen through the eyes of a Ukrainian soldier from the 3rd Assault Brigade at the Klishivka, Andreevka Axis, Donetsk region. It's just a fucking modern battle of Verdun. The smell of the blood, death. Russia, warehouse next to Ivanovo Manufacture shopping mall on fire in Vladimir. Russians lost another rare and expensive piece of hardware. This RB-636AM2 Svetku Mobile Electronic Warfare Unit was discovered somewhere in the Luhansk region and destroyed by a GMLRS missile. Outside of Starom Linivka, Ukrainian forces from the 37th Marine Brigade hit a Russian position with a drone-spotted DPICM cluster munition salvo, causing an ammunition cache to cook off. Another Russian T-80 BV tank cook-off. Russian propagandist Simon Yan is worried about Great Britain. She is concerned that people are freezing in their homes and have to wait for a long time to see a gynecologist. She never shows the same level of concern for her own country somehow. 
Великобритания, опять свежая статистика, опять зимой тысячи людей погибли от холода в собственных домах. Не бомжи, которые замерзли на улице, в собственных домах, потому что они не могут себе позволить отопление. Значит, я просто вот сейчас специально почитала статистику. Средняя очередь ожидания к акушеру-гинекологу. Знаете, какая в Великобритании? 31 день. За 31 Хорошо, день уже пять раз 10, родишь. Понимаешь? Хорошо, не 10 месяцев. Если ты на позднем сроке. Уже как бы, спасибо большое, у меня ребеночек уже скоро в школу пойдет, понимаешь? А вы только очереди свои дождался. Это их же собственная официальная статистика. Значит, дальше. Ukrainian GMLRS strike targeting a Russian 2S-19 MSTAS self-propelled howitzer. Swedish supplied CV-90 ACV in Ukrainian service at a training ground. Greece can transfer its Leopard 1 tanks to Ukraine. Germany has turned to Greece with a proposal to hand over 100 Greek Leopard 1 A5S that are currently in service to Ukraine, in exchange for modernized armored vehicles. According to the publication, in exchange for outdated Leopard 1 A5GR, Greece can receive modernized Leopard 1 A5 tanks from Italian stocks on a one-to-one -one basis. At the same time, Germany will bear the costs of a complete overhaul at Greek enterprises or at any other location chosen by the Greek government. Ukrainian soldier displays Chinese-made 60mm Tour 27 mortar shells. Так, ти колесо ще трактор. Я все железо ще бачу. Давай натягуємо того, того, того і всім накриваємося. Це не до РПГ, понял? Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.